everybody welcome back to all about the popcorn if you are new my name is stephanie thank you all for clicking on this video today we're going to be talking about fast and the furious presents hubs and shaw let's go ahead and get on with this review All right, so Hobbs and Shaw. It is rated PG-13. It is considered a mystery action movie. It is two hours and 16 minutes long. It is directed by David Leach, set to release today, August the 2nd. And of course, it stars uh, Dwayne Johnson, Jason Statham, Idris Elba, I hope I said his name right, uh, Vanessa Kirby. Production company is Seven Bucks Production. Oh. This movie is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is highly entertaining but it is very ridiculous if you really are expecting like this big tremendous like oh ah, some movie from this i mean have you have you seen the preview because honestly from the preview i never got like any kind of like awesomeness from it this movie really is just like um almost like a cheesy i mean it's not cheesy but you know in its own way cheesy movie it did give me a little bit of like 90s vibes in there because of course they have like deadly virus called the snowflake uh, and of course the russians and the cia are involved in this i would say probably that like the first like half of the mm, three quarters of the movie is pretty much them bashing each other you know doing the dick jokes i mean don't get me wrong their chemistry was awesome it really was it was very entertaining but honestly after each scene i was just like that was ridiculous like what was the point of it at the end of the day this is another movie that really doesn't really have a major plot i mean again yes it is this deadly virus that she injects of course like if it gets into the wrong hands it's going to obliterate like human race or you know bad stuff is gonna happen we do get a lot of cameos in this uh movie as well like high profile cameos well they do have a couple scenes here and there so i guess not necessarily like a cameo like a small role i'm not gonna say who is who they are fun and entertaining and it was nice to see you here but it was like why are you here like you really i don't feel like this should have been your kind of part if that makes sense once you see the movie let me come back let me know what you guys thought about those um cameo short roles and i freaking love hattie she was so amazing all her fight scenes i mean she even fought with the rock she held her own with her i mean obviously at the end you know he just kind of like puts her up like whatever and of course we have idris elba who in this uh, movie he is a bad guy who i am here for and he knows he's a villain because he even says but yeah, um, Idris, he um, calls himself the uh, Black Superman. Uh, we do see a really awesome uh, scene. I do remember that from the trailer with the uh, motorcycle, like when he goes underneath the um, the trailers. That was really, really cool. Uh, I'm not going to lie that 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 was really neat. Um, I mean, the, the whole movie, the, the fight sequence and everything, they were all really good. It was just a little bit too much, but they were really nice. And of course, you know, the writers and the directors, they knew where they were trying to take this movie as far as it being ridiculous because it really is. I don't know what the hell they were thinking about making this movie two hours and 16 minutes long because that was way too long. There was a part in the movie where you thought it was going to be over. But it still had like another like 30 or 45 minutes left and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm I'm ready to leave. I literally caught myself yawning at times. We did have a few end credit scenes. I didn't stay all the way to the end because they ended up turning on the lights. And usually when they turn on the lights during the screening, that's like the end of it. So I'm hoping it was just the two pretty early on. They're telling us at the screening that the uh, production company were still kind of playing around with which in credit scenes to use. So the one that the ones that I saw might not be the ones that you guys see, or they may still be the same ones. But I cannot for sure tell you to stay all the way to the very end because I didn't stay to the very end because the lights came on and a lot of people did stay, but I was ready to leave. Like I said, it was two hours. <laughs> I was ready to go i was over it but hopefully that very very last one doesn't have to do anything with like fast and the furious what is the number nine that's coming up but if it is well then i missed out on it 
Mm, I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, I do have to say this one does not suck as bad as Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift for sure is still down there at the very bottom. But honestly, Hobbs and Shaw kind of like comes right on top of it. I'm not gonna lie. It's considered a mystery action. They really need to take that mystery out of it and just, just put comedy. Because this is a full-on comedy action movie. There's really no mystery to it. I mean, at the end, do I recommend... Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. I don't know. I, I I really don't know because yes, it was ridiculous. Yes, it was entertaining. I'm not sure if I would watch it again. I, I don't think I would watch it in theater, so that might be your answer there. At the end, regardless of what I tell you, everybody's gonna go see this movie. I'm sure it's gonna do great in the box office. I seriously doubt it's gonna do great with the critics. Think of Hobbs and Shaw like the Wolverine movie, you know, for, for X-Men. Th this is equivalent, I think, kind of to, no, Wolverine I think still sucked more. Like Wolverine Origins. Yeah, Wolverine Origins. Cause Wolverine, the, the actual Wolverine movie, Logan, right? That was different, yeah. Wolverine Origins. This, I kind of classify so-so with that, I mean, Origins kind of still comes way down here, but at the end of the day, it had no business being part of that particular franchise, but we got it. Did we need it? No, but it's there. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you've seen Hobbs and Shaw, let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about the movie. Let me know where you rank this movie with all the other Fast and the Furious uh, movies that we have so far. And of course, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you at concessions. Bye.